I am a writer on Late Night with Seth Meyers. And during the George Floyd protest, during the beginning of it, we didn't know exactly how we were going to address that on the show. So I chose to tell stories that I tell in the book about my run-ins with cops. And so many people were like, now that you say that to me like that, I understand it. And I just thought, okay, that's good, but also it's infinitely frustrating. And that's part of what uh, needs to break is just that, you know, once you shake off the, the, the math we use to suss out what's real and what's fake, you know, once you shake that off and you're just a normal human being with logic, not being a piece of shit is the logical choice. <laughs> it's logical. Okay, Amber's on TV, Amber's telling that story, and it's believable. People believe that story. I have told my stories at work about racism a million times. It's like they don't get it. They they don't get it. I think um, what the uh, George Floyd video did was it gave credibility to all my little stories. And I have had people reach out to me and say, oh my God, Lacey, remember when you were in the meeting? I can't believe this is happening. And oh, now you're now you're understanding me? Now, I just told you that this happened to me, you know, a year ago when I was telling you this story. George Floyd, that opened up people's eyes and now all my little stories. And I'm so angry that I had already, I, I already uh, left my job. I wanted to be in that room. I called him, I was like, what was the morning meeting like? Like, what, what's what's happening, you know? I, I wanted to be in that room because I, I seriously got texts from people going, oh my God, racism is so bad. And I remember when you stood up and told the story at work, you know, it's like, now you're, now you're getting it. So before I'm telling you my stories that I would say, and sometimes I'd have tears in my eyes and be telling people and they would just be like, Lacey, I really think you're over-exaggerating. Like, I don't think that racism is this bad. And so, yeah, I don't. Hachette, 